Hi everyone, it's me Kathy. Welcome to my channel. I am here to talk about my favorite 14 items of 2014. Uh, Natalie, the beauty diva, came up with this tag and she tagged me, asked me if I would do it too. And if you are not subscribed to Natalie, please go and subscribe to Natalie. She is an awesome lady. Mary Ellen asked me too if I was going to do it. And she is Sensational Over 60. Her channel, that's her channel name. These are two awesome ladies. Please go and subscribe to them and watch them and support their channels. Uh, one of the reasons why I love you, YouTube so much is because... Everyone is so kind and supportive of each other, and I really appreciate that. And thank you for subscribing to me and watching my video. I've done this video in two parts. Uh, actually, I think I've pieced together three or four sections of it. So stay tuned for my favorite 14. Let's get started. My very first favorite thing that I discovered in 2014. Some of these things will be what I discovered in 2014. I had to narrow it down or I had to come up with them. The way I came up with them was what would I go out and replace immediately if something happened to it? And that's pretty much how I, I chose these things and that's what I would probably do. If something happened to any of these things I would save up my money and go and repurchase them. The very first thing I want to talk about is YouTube. I know I can't, you know, YouTube is irreplaceable. However, I'm talking about my iPad that I'm filming on right this minute. Because without my iPad, I wouldn't have found YouTube. Because if I have to sit in front of a computer, in front of my PC, in my home office, I would get bored of sitting there and I wouldn't watch YouTube. But with my iPad where I can take it anywhere around the house that I want and I can watch it and it's, um, I don't have to have a Wi-Fi with my iPad. And when we first built this house, we didn't have an internet connection here. So I really depended on my iPad to have uh, access to YouTube. And I found YouTube through Pinterest. And I was looking for hairstyles. My hair was cut like this. It was about this short, <laughs> inverted bob. And I couldn't do very much with it if I didn't wash it, blow dry it, and style it every single day. So I was looking with, looking at alternative ways of, of wearing it, uh, poofed up like this, half up, just uh, different ways and how to keep it teased. My hair doesn't want to ever hold a tease. So um, that's what led me to find YouTube. And so my YouTube slash iPad is my very first favorite item that I would go definitely out and replace my iPad if something happened, happens to it. I just can't live without my iPad. I like my iPad almost better than my iPhone. But they go hand in hand. They, um, they stream uh, pictures and videos and uh, I, I love... Um, I love my iPad. So uh, then the second thing I want to talk about, and I'm not doing these in any particular order. The second thing I want to talk about is my Aero Pilates machine. If something were to happen to it, I would definitely go out and replace it. I have had it probably five years now, and I don't use it every day, and I want to change that in this coming year. But when I do use it, I really feel the difference. And I have had some back problems I had a wreck and had some back problems and I'm not a, a doctor by no means but this has helped me stretch those muscles and keep them limber and um, really helps me stay toned. It comes with a, um, I think it's called a rebounder, I'm not sure, it's like a little trampoline that you can sit uh, or lay on here and then jump on here and of course I bought it through QVC but it's it's been a very good purchase okay my next favorite item would be um i think i'll talk about my faux hair and i have had this hair some of this hair for several years and 
depending on if my hair like today I just went and got it highlighted so it's lighter than it normally would be uh, otherwise so I have several of these to choose from when my hair is the darkest I use this one and when my hair is the lightest I use this one so this is probably the one that I would be wearing if I can if I can get it back in a ponytail because I just had it cut today but I have several of these. They, they make your life so much easier because you can put it, I normally put it up right here. Um, pull it all back and put it up right here. But you can also um, pull it back and, and put them right here. Different ways uh, of using them. But I really love my faux hair pieces. My, um, my granddaughter calls it my crazy hair. Ma Kathy, are you wearing your crazy hair today? <laughs> yes, maybe so. The next, the next two items I want to talk about are also hair items. And um, I guess I will talk about my Velcro rollers next. Um, my Velcro rollers allow me to get volume and um, a curve to my hair after I flat iron it and uh, I really use them every day that was a, another way that I determined my favorites was if I used them every day and again I would go out and replace them if I were to lose them my next favorite item is my flat iron and I have a chi and I come from Texas, and I believe uh, they originated in Texas. I may be wrong, but uh, my sister had one um, probably back in 2005, I guess, 2004, 2005, when you could only buy them through your hairstylist. And um, I don't know, they were pretty expensive back then. I lost my chi. I didn't lose it, but I took it on a cruise. And I put it in with the baggage that you check. And it was confiscated. And it was never given back to me. They, um, someone liked it so well they kept it. It was one of the original ones. It was before they mass produced them. And while I was on that cruise, I used my stepdaughter's chi. And, of course, hers was one of the mass produced ones. And um, it wasn't as heavy as um, the the originals but this one is close to the original as I could get it's a purple one no I threw away the box so I don't know the name of it however um, I love this flat iron and I know there's other good ones out there as well um, but this brand I'm partial to because it's what I started with and in the humidity uh, where, I, where I grew up and where I, I lived along the Texas coast, the humidity is so bad, my hair will just frizz and look like a cotton ball without this, which changes the texture. It was a game changer in my life. So I did lose it, and I did immediately come back the very next day that I got back from my cruise, and I went and... I went to Ulta and I bought this. I can't live without it. Okay, the next item I want to talk about, I have already mentioned in a previous video, is my Michael Kors bag, which I bought this last year. And I wanted a pop of color, as they are continuously saying in the fashion world. <clears throat> and even though not everything I wore matched this, everything I wore blended with it. Even, there's so many different shades of pink, but it still, it still worked, uh, un unbelievably so. <clears throat> and I wear a lot of black, and I wear a lot of gray, and even browns, uh, I wear browns, and this still um, matched it, or looked good with it, or added the pop of color that I needed. So this is one of my favorite purchases, um, and if I were to lose it, you betcha, I would go out and get another one. I love it that much. I have um, 
not retired it by no means. I am giving it a vacation over the winter and I'm carrying my Dooney Bork. Uh, Dooney and Bork. I really like that that bag too. Okay, the next item I want to talk about are my sandals <clears throat> that I love. I want to say um, hmm, four or five years ago, my best friend and I were looking for sandals that were comfortable because if you just wear sandals, it's very hard on our feet. We both have problem feet, my best friend more so than I do. And it was funny. We call each other every Sunday and catch up. So one Sunday we called each other and we both said, hey, I found these great flip-flops that I think you will love. I think they will work for you. My friend has uh, narrow feet. I said, I think they're gonna work for you. And uh, you need to go try them on at least. And she says, well, I found the perfect pair, too, that you need to go try on. And I said, well, mine are black. And she said, mine are black. And mine have yoga mats as the sole. She said, mine do, too. She says, do, they have, do yours have gingham on the inside? I said, yes. It was so funny. We had bought the same pair of shoes, even though we weren't together shopping. So I don't know how to say the name of them. They're so nukes. This is a yoga mat, and it is so comfortable and so cushy. You can walk um, all day long in these without any, any problem. If you have problem feet and you need support, try these. They come in several different colors. Every year, I buy a new color. <clears throat> And I wear them around my house as well because I have um, hardwood floors and tile and I need some cushioning. So these are better than slippers in the summertime. They are so soft and so comfortable. And I have them in probably almost every color that they make. But uh, my best friend and I both started out with black ones and then we've added, every year we've added a different color. My next favorite item that I want to talk about are my ring guards. I wear them every day. Um, my, my ring, my wedding ring, is too loose for me. I lost some weight and I was really scared to have it sized because what if I gained my weight back and, oh, uh, you know, it, it was, I, I just didn't want them messing with my ring. So what I did was I thought, well, I will buy some ring guards for either side of it. And of course, I started out with the clear ones first. Some of these, most of these aren't real, but I do have some that are real. Um, so I put, I put, um, these are the, the clear that match the ring and um, then it's not coming off. It's not going to come off at all. So and I change it out. I change them out to match my uh, outfits of the day. So I'll wear them every day. My favorites are these black stainless steel ones. And uh, so I wear a lot of black and I just think that looks pretty cool. But I also have <clears throat> I also have pink. I also have um, gold. So if I wear gold jewelry, I wear that one. A stone. It kind of looks like that uh, one stone that I have a ring for. Anyway, I'll put the name of the stone down here. And then I have um, turquoise. And green and white. Then of course I have the white, the clear. So um, I change those out every day and again if I were to lose these I'd be replacing them. They are some of my favorite fun toys to play with. I, I really like having the option of changing out my ring guards. Hello everyone. I'm here to finish up my 14 favorites of 2014. And um, the next three items I'm going to talk about 
uh, or makeup items. I didn't choose that many makeup items in this favorite 14 because I just started my channel and I've been talking about my favorites and I didn't want to repeat myself so I chose uh, three of my most favorite items to talk about today. If I were, if someone were to say, or my husband sometimes says, you, we gotta go. So what, the three things that I would put on before uh, I leave out the door would be these next three items. Okay, I'll start with how I would put them on. I would first of all use my Merle Norman Wrinkle Smoother. Merle Norman Wrinkle Smoother, and I'm almost out. I need to go and get some more. I like this because my skin is ultra dry, and in fact, uh, my skin is kind of mm, chapped, I want to say, from this cold weather that we've been having right around here. So I, ha I use Josie Marin's Argon Oil plus this on top. This has a cooling effect when you put it on your skin, and that's why I like it, or I, that's why my skin likes it, I believe. And uh, I wish it was organic, and I wish it had sunscreen, but it doesn't. But I used this years ago, and I stopped using it, and now I've come back to it. I really like it. And the next item that I would use would be um, my CC cream, my It Cosmetics CC Plus cream. It does have the um, SPF, and I'm almost out, but I have another one in my drawer. Um, and I, I use it in medium. I use it in medium. That's the one that matches my skin the best, but sometimes in the summer I will use the tan one. Not very often. And my next item is Physician's Formula Eye Pencils. And um, they, they sell them in a three pack like this. And I normally buy, well I bought, I don't, this is my third package of them. Um, I have the other colors like the Nude Eye and I don't, I don't remember, maybe the green, green Eye. This one's for blue eyes. But I buy it primarily for the black one. Black is what I put on top and a little bit right here in the corner. So I really like these. I they they don't um, they don't transfer. Even if I wear it alone, and even if I go out the door with just these three items on, then um, those are my favorites. Okay, my last three items. I will start with liquid amino acids. And this is a good alternative for soy sauce because soy sauce might have too much salt in it. It, um, it might have some gluten in it for whatever reasons. If your doctor tells you to give up soy, then this is a good alternative. The way I cook my foods, I stir fry a lot of my food in a wok. I start with my meat and then I add my vegetables. And then when they're finished cooking. I don't add this when it's cooking. When it's finished cooking, I will spray pump this on instead of salt. Uh, this is my flavoring. And I find if I cook with it, I heat it, this up, then I don't taste it as well. But if I sprinkle it on my food, spray it on my foods, after I cook them, then uh, I get that soy flavoring. Um, which I really love. I, I love um, all kinds of uh, Asian foods. The next, my next favorite item, I guess, would be Epsom salt. It really doesn't have any salt in it. It is um, magnesium sulfate. And about every other night, I use this to take a bath with. I really like it. I feel like it helps take the toxins out of your body and um, it soothes aching muscles for minor sprains and bruises. Okay, my next favorite item I want to talk about is virgin coconut oil. Organic virgin coconut oil. I use this every day. I found a recipe on Pinterest for deodorant using uh, coconut oil. 
and it has several ingredients in it and I tweak that recipe I've, I add more coconut oil than what it calls for <clears throat> so it's something that I do use every day and uh, I also put this in my tea sometimes and drink it in the mornings just a little teaspoonful it's excellent in hot chocolate and it's supposed to be good for dementia I don't know if the tests are, are still out on that but um, it has coconut oil has um, many many benefits and I use it on my skin I have a lot of eczema and it is excellent uh, for that well that is my favorite 14s of 2014 I want to thank all my new uh, subscribers thank you very much for uh, subscribing to me this year I um, I'm very busy this time of year. I'm not going to be able to watch a lot of videos, and I'm not going to be able to put out too many videos. I try to once a week put out a video. Um, this is the um, end of the year kind of um, wrap up that I have to do at work. So I look forward to um, seeing y'all in my next video. I want to do a tag. So uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Got to go to work now. Bye-bye. Love you big.